All right, adventurers, welcome to All Play. Uh, I am glad to be playing this game. On my birthday, I played Cook, Serve, and Delicious, and it was such a fun game. That game was insanely, like, I was there for it. I was ready. <laughs> and the developers have sent me a code to play Cook, Serve, Delicious 2. It actually comes out the day that this video posts, and I'm playing a beta version. I am very excited to play this. Um, some of the things aren't unlocked just yet, and I do plan to update this with a video of me playing Cook, Serve, Delicious 2 once it is actually out completely. Let's see. Uh, we're working hard to make sure everything is fully cooked come September 13th, and as a result, many features and functions of this build are not finished or not final. Uh, enjoy the 11 levels we unlocked in the all-new Chef for Hire mode, or try your skills in the Cook, Serve, Delicious restaurant where we've opened over 30 entrees, sides, and drinks to play with. Be sure to jump into the tutorials and to learn how to play. Uh, this game also has a co-op mode, which I kind of want to try out. I kind of want to see... <laughs> I want to see who I can get to play this with me. Uh, let's see. It says that mouse functionality is not used in uh, this build, and that's okay because I play with the controller. Uh, there's no progression in leveling up. The food catalog is a fun way to see all the foods in the game. However, the practice and purchase functionality has been turned off, as well as a number of extra modes, such as the resident, re oh, excuse me, restaurant designer. Options will be saved. Campaign saving has been turned off. Uh, I had no idea that they were going to come out with this game uh, up until about a week ago. And I was like, yo, I got to get my hands on this. And I was like, they actually sent it to me. They actually said I can go ahead and try it out. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to experiment here. Uh, let's go to the campaign. Uh, there's the tower. There's player options. There's food catalog, tickets, designer, emails, and tutorials. Let's do tutorials. Just said so if you're new to the game, you can see uh, what this game is like for controls. Uh, the basics. It takes a little bit less than three minutes. That's a dope logo. I want a restaurant logo like that. Because that's dope. I want one. Welcome to Cook, Serve, Delicious 2. This is a test kitchen where we can practice a bit. To your left are prep stations. Uh, where orders appear as customers arrive. Enough talk, let's cook. Select the order by pressing up on the D-pad. And pressing the X button when the order is highlighted. Oh, so like this. Except for me, it wants me to press square, I think. Yeah. The the it looks like the controls are written out so that it's the Xbox controller, but on the side, like that left side actually shows me the PlayStation controller. I'm using a PlayStation controller. To the right is your list of ingredients. Use the recipe on the bottom of the screen to place the correct ingredients ordered by the customer. So if you look on the right side, I can put queso, I can put sour cream, I can put jalapenos, or I can put uh red beans. I'll hold down the left trigger. That's this, and then press the button I need in order to put down the right thing. So if you look at the bottom, it says I want to make Grand Slam nachos. This guy wants queso, uh, sour cream, and jalapeno. So I want to press, after holding L2, I want to press triangle, I want to press square, and I want to press circle. There's no amount, so like I can't keep putting more jalapenos. It only lets me put the, the recommended amount of jalapenos as the company wants us to. Uh, use this recipe to place the right ingredients for the order when fi when finished. Let go of the left trigger and press A to serve. So for me, it would be X. Great. Let's try making more complex food. So I want to move down on the control pad. Hold, uh, press square to say I'm going to go make this hamburger. It's the destroyer. I want three beef patties. Okay. So I can put them all down. One, two, and three. That's dope. That's pretty dope. And I want to wait for them to cook. They're cooking. You can see them cooking. All right. They're browning. They're browning. Oh, do I want to? Oh, I want to press X for it. <laughs> they're not browning at all. Okay. The meat is cooking. The white timer indicates how long the food has left. I can't play around. I know. I know that for a fact. I can't play around with that. I only got so much time. Okay, this food has a greater number of ingredients that spans two pages. Press B to turn the page. There we go. So I can see all the ingredients there. Uh, hold down right trigger to select ingredients in the right column. So there's left here and right there. And ingredients have color boxes to the left of them to show to easily show which page they're on. Okay, that's dope. So I'll have to look around. Okay, so we got three beef patties. Does the order I put them in matter? 
Because I know for a fact. I know for a fact. I know I have to put the regular bun last. But I know some places are picky about how I arrange things. So let's see. We got a beef patty. Let's put some bacon on it. Then we can put some cheese. Two che- oh, uh, the Swiss cheese. Is there another cheese? Oh, the regular cheddar cheese. There's lettuce as well. Let's go beef patty. Like, I wonder if the order matters. Like, is there a sensible order that I should put these in? Because trust me, trust me, I don't know. <laughs> Let's switch to the other page. Uh, we got mushrooms. We got, did I miss anything? Did I put tomatoes on? I put tomatoes on. We got more beef patties. And then the other piece of cheese. Right? Two cheeses. Yeah. And then we're good, right? That's everything, right? No pickles. No S onions. What are those? Sautéed onions? No egg. No pretzel bun. It's a regular bun. And then we're done, right? I hope I did everything. Maybe I should just do it in the order that is written so I don't forget anything. Depending on how accurate you are, what your ingredient placement was. Okay, so placement does matter. And if the food was fully cooked, you will receive a perfect average or bad reading. Always strive for the perfect reading. It will bring in more customers, income, and bonuses at the end of the day. An average rating doesn't help or hurt you, and a bad rating will decrease customers. On the top screen, on the top of the screen, you will find the holding stations. Holding stations are the key to making ingredients much, making things much easier for you when a huge amount of customers walk through the door. In fact, if you don't utilize them, the game can become quite difficult and sometimes impossible. Try accepting the order on the left. You'll notice you cannot select this food. It has a red HS icon, meaning that it must be prepared in a holding station before you can serve it. So let's do that now. Okay, so let's worry about the holding station. Select holding station by pressing left on the D-pad to highlight it and press Y. That's that button for me. Uh, select the pretzel and follow the recipe. The recipe will completely random each time you make a food in the holding station. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so let's make this. German pretzels. Uh, let's drop a German pretzel and set that bit to cook. The pretzels are now cooking just like the hamburger. We must wait until the food is re- finished cooking before we can select it again. Okay, so holding stations basically I make stuff for it to wait. They're now in the holding station ready to serve. Okay. Oh, oh, yes. That's exactly what it is. They're they're there for me to do stuff that needs to be done. Oh, holy hell. <laughs> okay, got it. That's dope. See how fast you can serve customers with holding stations? Oh, by the way, that wasn't in the first game. That wasn't in the first game. That's why I'm so astounded by it. See how fast you can serve customers with holding stations? They're great. You learn the very basics of this game. However, there are still items such as side dishes, chores, drinks, and holding station optional foods you can learn in the extra tutorials. So you should absolutely check those out when you can. Good luck. We're not going to do that just yet. We're not going to do those just yet. All that stuff. That's a really dope logo. I kind of want to make one. I kind of want to have one for old play. <laughs> okay, that was. let's do the holding station optional foods. Let's do that. It says it's less than a minute. That's so cool. Holding station optional foods are orders that can either be prepped in a prep station or made ahead of time in a holding station. Start by selecting the order on the left and prep it. Chicken nugget basket. After placing the ingredients, duck and cook. So we got that. Can I make more? I can't make I can only make one thing of nuggets at a time. And cook. Food's now cooking. Serve the order once it's ready. Alright, so we gotta wait for that clock to reach the top. There we go. Easy enough, but we can get ahead by making this food beforehand. Select holding station one and return then turn to the page. <laughs> they turn the page to the holding station optional food, select chicken nuggets and prep it. So we select the one, turn to holding station. Is that this one? And then let's prep it. Place the ingredients. So I want to put four in. Good. And then don't. Oh, there we go. And cook. Let's wait until nuggets are fully cooked and ready to serve. So once they're ready to serve, we press triangle. 
Oh, we don't have to press triangle. We just serve them bad boys. Okay. As you can see, you can serve a lot more orders faster this way, but beware. Holding holding station optional foods take out space that may be better used for side dishes or more holding station required foods. It may be it will be up to you to find that perfect balance with the menu. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm ready. I'm so ready to hop into this. Let's go. Let's go. Player options. What's in here? Single mode or single player? True chef. Not in beta. Oh. Oh, well, it will let me do it. Okay, dope. And tower. Okay, I feel like this would be so much fun with two people. I feel like... Oh, I can't wait. I really can't wait to do this. All right, so let's just do cook, serve, delicious. Uh, Start new day. First, we got to... I know we have to pick our menu items. Oh, I can, I can have presets for we're serving for any... Yo! They... How many presets can I have? Oh, my God. What's in? Which letter of the alphabet is in? What number? That's so many presets. Yo, I'm down for this. This is dope. They were they came prepared for this. All right, so let's choose some entrees. Oh, uh, we know how to make burgers. We did burgers. I think that's a burger, isn't it? And now burger. How do I? I can't. I guess I. Okay, fine. I can't really take a preview. I just gotta look. Gotta roll with it. Let's start. Let's just start simple with burgers. Burgers. Is there anything else? Oh, let's do sides. How about that? Well, let's do sides. Oh, that's down here. Oh! <laughs> okay, so we can do fridge fries. Fridge fries would be fun. Uh, What are these? I don't even know what those are. Let's serve this. I know that different items have, like, different perks about them. Like, for example, um, foods that don't require, like, plates and stuff. Cut down on trash. I remember that. I thought that was so cool. I don't know what that is, but let's save it. It looks like either mashed potatoes or grits. What are those two? We got drinks. We're not serving alcohol. We're not that kind of place. We're going to serve soda. And I guess this is lemonade. Let's serve those two. And let's get some more entrees. I want to be making burgers all day. Let's make tacos. All right. I'm only going to do three, three real foods. I feel like that's pushing it. I feel like even that is pushing it. Let's go spaghetti. Okay. Y'all ready to make a mess? Let's view the buzz. Oh, I can't see the buzz. Not for this build. Okay, that's fine. Let's start. This is going to be so much fun. <laughs> the classic management mode returns to cook, serve, delicious too. Uh, shape your menu however you like with a selection of over 180 foods, sides, and drinks. And complete day-to-day -day objectives to unlock even more content such as new foods levels and decor to place in your restaurant with the all-new restaurant designer feature upgrade your restaurant by leveling up with perfect and near perfect orders and strive to be the best five-star restaurant in the tower to be honest i kind of want to do a playthrough of this i kind of would do like a full playthrough of this like on my birthday i just did two episodes but i want to do a whole thing for this not gonna lie here we go let's start oh we got we got five we got six things. Holding station. What are we gonna what are we gonna do? Spaghetti? Yeah, cause spaghetti takes a while, it seems. Uh oh. Okay. So let's put in spaghetti and let's put in meatballs and you cook. We got another one here. Another holding station. Hang on, sir. If you could just wait just a second. Uh a bean burger, that's what that is. Oh, that's not even a real burger. Bean patties. Okay. So let's see. Let's drop those patties. Let's drop those patties and cook them. All right. And we got spaghetti cooking. Spaghetti's almost finished. Let's move over here. Let's serve that spaghetti. Oops. How I serve it. <laughs> so we got spaghetti. We got meatballs. He wants Parmesan. Serve. All right. Our burgers are ready. Oh, toilets need to be cleaned. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Here. here hang on. Give me just a second. I'm, I've got your burger. Lettuce, 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 top bun. There you go. I've got your burger right here, sir. Here's your burger. She wants a bean supreme. So it's a triangle for and then tomatoes and then sprouts and onions and the lettuce and the top bun. There you go. Here you go. All right. We got spaghetti. We got spaghetti. Just give us a second. Just give me. I'm new here. I just started today. I'm actually a transfer from oh we don't have tacos ready oh we don't have tacos ready uh oh 
Well, he just got to take this burger. It'll be all right. We'll have tacos ready. Hey, God. He wants ground meat. He wants oil. There we go. It's cooking. It is cooking. Let's get tacos ready. <laughs> Who let me in here? Oh, we got fries, too. That's okra. That's what that was. Okay. So we need... Hang on. Hang on. I swear I'm trying my hardest, guys. Oh, it's rush hour. As if things weren't bad enough, now it's rush hour. And french fries. There we go. Dunk. How do I dunk? Oh, there we go. Okay, that's cooking. Hang on. Hang on. I've got your burgers. If you would just give me a second. If you would just give me one second. How about burgers? There we go. Bean patty. There we go. All right. Circle and top bun. Here's a burger. How about we just prepare more burgers and more spaghetti? Uh-oh. I'm not pressing the right buttons at all. Here we go. All the baddies. All right, give me a second. Hang on, we're doing we're doing fine, I think. Here's spaghetti. Here's meatballs. Cook. Okay, okay. So for you, for you, we have. Oh, it's got a lifespan. Oh, that makes me sad. Spaghetti has a lifespan. I like. I should have known that. But you can see that the timer's running out on all of those up there at the top. Oh, this is it. Oh. Once again, I was not prepared. <laughs> I was not prepared. Onions, lettuce, lettuce, and then top bun. There you go. Okay, so tacos. We have tacos, right? Did I not put tacos in? Shit. Oops. Wasn't supposed to cuss. <laughs> They're going to get fired. Okay. Okay. Here's more spaghetti. Apparently, we don't have to prepare tacos. Apparently, we don't prepare tacos. We just make it. So let's just make it. Here's circle and then oil. Wait, here's oil. There we go. Got to clean the toilets. Let's clean the toilets. Let's clean the toilets. All right. So the taco should be ready shortly. Apparently, I got to take out the, the hamburgers. They've been out for too long. Here's ground meat. He wants... Oh, there's more? Queso. He wants sour cream. He wants white rice you all this on the taco that's nasty ew <laughs> here's lettuce and green salsa bam all right hang on hang on i've got your burgers if you would just give me a second now i know how certain people feel <laughs> now i see why they move so slow boy oh my god okay uh i need to take out there we go and I'll put in some more spaghetti. Oh, rush hours on the way. Great. Great. Here, here, and cook. All right, we got more burgers. We still got burgers. Give me a second. Give me a second. Tomatoes, lettuce. Oh, yes. I definitely need a second player for this. Oh, boy. Okay, let's see if I can save this one. What's this? Work ticket. Oh, we got pest. We got pest. Open the trap. Close the trap. Sanitize before I go back to the work. All right, let's go. All right, what's this? What's this? Let's serve this. Roaches. We got roaches? Bro, they ain't tell me we have roaches. Done. What's this? And now we got dishes. Great. Come on, come on, come on. I, oh, yes, I definitely need a co-worker on this one. I need a co-worker. I wonder if Jasmine would be down. <laughs> I wonder if Jasmine would be down to help me cook. Here we go. We got spaghetti, right? We got spaghetti. I can't look in like six different directions at once. I only got two eyes. I can barely look in one direction. Uh, cook. Oh, we ain't got no burgers. We ain't got no burgers. Here we go. Oops. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got this. I got this. Here we go. All right, all right. Come on. Oh, his burger wasn't finished, was it? It'll be all right. You'll be okay. <laughs> You'll be okay. Lettuce. Top bun. Rush hour's over. Good. Good. Take this nasty ass burger. We got tacos. Oh no, I gotta make tacos fresh. Chicken fajita. So is that this? Oh no, it's on a different page, isn't it? And then oil. Fine. There we go. Alright, everybody wants burgers. Everybody wants burgers. I'm gonna need a coworker. Here we go. I wish there were oops, well he's got all this stuff on this burger. He'll be alright now. 
Oh, I pissed off too many people. Here's another burger. Let's try and make this one the right way. We got sprouts. We got onions. We got lettuce. And then we got a bun. Curtis. What's this? You're here. Calm down. Your, bur your tacos will be all right. Chicken fajita. We got lime sauce. That's that one. We got white rice. We got tomato. We got onion. We got lettuce. Cheese. Mozzarella. Egg guac. There we go. Day's over. All right, let's solve these. Uh, let's solve these last bit of people, and then sanitize. Get back to work. Let's make this taco. He got a beef fajita, and he needs oil. Dope. And then this burger here. We got burgers. I know we got burgers. I put in so many burgers. I don't even want to hear it. Here's tomato, lettuce, top bun. There we go. Just in time for his fajita to be ready. Beef fajita, we got queso, we got Z sauce, that Zach sauce. <laughs> Here's the white rice, onions, onions are down there, and then he wants pico salsa. There you are. Enjoy. I did. I feel like I did all right. We closed right. Day complete. Customer served. Forty three customers. That's a lot. There's no way I did 43 customers. The highest combo is three. Six delicious orders, two average orders, 25 bad orders, 16 perfect orders. In my defense, for those bad orders, I'm the only person working. There's too many people here. There's entirely too many people uh, ordering food. Negative buzz earns 0%. That's good. They understood that I was the only person working. I failed eight, uh, 11 chores. I had to put out fires zero good justice dispensed oh we can shoot people in this restaurant oh i got 26 dollars in tips that's my money <laughs> that's my money i'm the only person here we wash dishes we flush toilets we exterminated bugs i'm here day complete the better your stats are at the end of the day the more buzz you'll create in the game scales the difficulty to your skill level oh snap it's scaling. Keep getting better to unlock all kinds of new content, including a few surprises. The stats once again. Yeah, same page. Bro. That was crazy. That was deep. All these different restaurants that they have. These are, I, I, like, I get what they're referencing in, in most of these. These are dope. These are dope. Yo, when this game launches... This game launches. Expect, expect a full, a, I won't say a full playthrough. I'll probably lose my mind before then. But expect me to open a restaurant when this game does launch. Remember, it launches uh, today. It just launched. So I'm probably figuring out when I'm going to record everything and when I'm going to upload it. <laughs> All right, guys. That's going to do it for us taking a look at this, this pre-release build of Cook, Serve, Delicious 2. Thanks again to the developers. For said to be a code to play this game, I'm so excited for this. I Like I said, I love the first one. The first one was insane, and I can't wait for this one to come out. If you guys are interested in this game, there's always more information below in the description uh, where you can check out more info on this game. As well, let's keep up with the developers. Uh, and as always, if you want to see more games like this, then all you have to do is subscribe below. Hit that little red button. That's our subscribe button. And turn on notifications. That way you get notified whenever a video is posted to the channel or whenever I do something like a live stream or I do something special. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. It's going to be good. I'll catch you guys later.